Hi, I'm Kerry Snyder. This video is about ways that the next generation science standards is similar to prior standards in science, but also profoundly different. One of the concerns expressed by a lot of teachers about next generation science standards is that they'll be so different it'll be difficult to use them. But to a large extent, most teachers will recognize, I'd say, at least 75 or 80 percent of what's in those standards. So these three dimensions that there's so much talk about uh, that need to be a part of teaching and learning, they've been there for a long time. What's different is that they're supposed to be present in all of the lessons. Students might be using a cross-cutting concept such as cause and effect, but only later the teacher would show the students what that is when they compare two different units. One other difference, and that is the use of technology and engineering throughout. Because the skills that students need to learn to do engineering, that is to develop and improve technologies, are just as important and take just as much creativity and intelligence as doing scientific investigations. So this first performance expectation is probably quite familiar. Uh, that and it, it talks about that sound is produced by vibration. This is one of my favorites. So it's a kazoo. The two parts of that are that sounds, uh, that vibrations produce sound, and that sound produces vibrations. What is really different is the idea that you can use a, a device to communicate with, and that you use sound and vibration to communicate. So a friend of mine who's an elementary teacher came up with this. With kids, the main point here is that you can make a telephone. And how far can you stand back and hear each other's voice? And the kids make, first graders, make these distinctions and have a wonderful time doing this investigation. These are the demonstrations that are typically done. And so one of them, for example, uses a metal spring. So what you can do with this is show compressional waves that are like sound waves and lateral waves that are like water waves. How do we bring this into the modern era? Well, digital communication is an important idea in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. So one of the questions that SETI scientists have investigated is, if we receive a signal from another world, how will we know it's intelligent? So a really important idea that was developed is that perhaps they would, whoever is sending it, knows about prime numbers. Now, prime numbers are something that fourth graders are just learning about. How do you interpret a, a message? So let's suppose a message is 35 characters long. And let's say the characters are time sequence and they're either off or on. So that's two digits. You can arrange them in five rows of seven characters or seven rows of five characters. And when you do that and you color in the ones and you don't color in the zeros, it forms sort of a picture. Now, for 35 characters, you may not see a very precise picture, but if you lose the next two uh, prime numbers and the next two prime numbers, you can send a fairly long message with lots of ones and zeros. And you can decode that into a message that makes a pretty good picture. You can teach that to students, but how will it be meaningful to them is you ask them to work together in teams, think of some pictorial message that they'd want to send, and figure out how to send it. For example, if we want to do that with light, one interesting way of doing that is to set it up so that there's agreement about the code, but no understanding about what the message will be. And kids are tremendously thrilled to find that they can take a code like that, they can record the information, and they can interpret it as a picture and know exactly what that picture was intended to be. As I hope you've seen from this video, the next generation science standards are similar to science standards of the past, so they should be familiar to most science teachers. However, they also make very strong use of engineering and technology. These are skills that students should have to help them prepare for a world of the future. Thank you.